Okay. So that's one thing I do not like, is the case it has a tendency of holding on to the knife and won't let go. Let's put the knife here. So the latch is nice. The buck is actually a lot nicer than I expected. I expected something extremely cheap filling and really not that great, but actually a decent decent box it's actually a really nice box actually the clasp is nice so really the only problem is the fact that it holds the knife way too hard in there it's actually not easy to get the knife back in either you can press it in but getting it out is just half I mean, you literally have to pry it out. So that could be a little dangerous as well. So. I really need my tripod. Alright, we can fully see that, but... really sharp. I mean, obviously, if you had your Japanese sharpening stones, it would get a whole lot sharper. But right out of the box, it's, it's not bad. It's nicely polished on the spine. Right here at the hilt is got its name. It's polished right in here too, so it doesn't actually grab onto your finger or skin or anything like that. And unfortunately they don't have very many knives. They have this one, they have one more without the hammered finish. Same handle and everything, but doesn't have the hammered finish as I said. And then they have a small set with, I think, three knives. And that would be um, a utility knife and a paring knife, pretty much. Yeah, I know a lot of people seem to think that a paring knife is necessary, but really, give me the utility knife. The edge is not as polished as you would think. Um, I mean, you can see that nice little shiny flashing going on at that one spot, but it's actually, it's actually not that polished. You can still see the direction of lines where it was sharpened, so you can tell that literally diagonal, even up here, it's still the same direction. So you can tell it was a machine that just ran past it in a straight motion.
but it's got that nice classic old sword style going on there. I like that. It's more of a matte. It's not polished like you would see on the Delstrong, but it's got the same handle as a Delstrong. Overall, it's it's actually a really decent knife. Uh, it's uh, eighty five dollars on Amazon. At the time I bought this one, I got this one from eBay. They both came from Amazon, and they both came from the same seller, but it just didn't seem that way when I bought it. But it did. Came from the exact same town and everything, exact same packaging. Both said Amazon, one hour off eBay, one hour on Amazon. I got the one on eBay for $40, and I actually got a code through Wikibuy and was able to buy the other one for literally $25 instead of $85, so that was actually really cool, but as soon as I posted that, um, said that, it pretty much was taken off. So, I lucked out, and unfortunately, nobody else seemed to get up on that deal that I know of. Unless some people spotted it in and started flooding in those orders. Yep, there it is. And have a great day. Bye.